there's a glacier in Antarctica the size of Florida that's hanging on by its fingernails. It's been referred to as the Doomsday Glacier. A glacier that's the size of Florida hanging on by fingernails according to scientists who have issued a dire warning about this. According to the findings of a recent research, the Thwaites Glacier on the west coast of Antarctica is a significant source of worry since it looks to already be in a period of rapid retreat. Now we know that uh, a lot of the recently found volcanoes of Antarctica are on the west coast there and they're heating up the glaciers from underneath. It's been referred to as the Doomsday Glacier. It's always been used as a general estimate in forecasting the rise in sea level throughout the world. According to experts who published their research in journal Nature Geoscience, if this glacier were to completely melt, it's possible the sea level increase by a staggering 2 to 10 feet. In 2019, while on an expedition, a group of researchers from the United States, United Kingdom, and Sweden used the research vessel RV Nathaniel B. Palmer to launch a state-of-the-art orange robotic vehicle called RAN that was loaded with imaging sensors. A recent analysis of the Thwaites Glacier predicts that it may recede in the future at a pace that is twice as fast as its present rate, which poses a risk of causing a significant increase in sea level. The expedition lasted for 20 hours, during which time the crew surveyed an area of the seafloor in front of the glacier that was almost the size as Houston. Researchers were able to access the front of the glacier for the very first time in human history. NBC News that notes that the research looked at how the body moved in the past to make predictions about it would how it would move in the future, and the researchers were able to monitor the glacier's travels over the seabed from as far back as a century ago because the impressions left on the seabed by the Thwaites Glacier, the conclusions based on these imprints, satellite imagery has only supplied information on the glacier's movements going back to about 30 years at this point. According to the findings the researcher, of the researchers, this glacier was receding at a rate of 1.3 miles every year, approximately 100 years ago, which is twice as quickly as its movements from 2010 to 2019. Anna Wallin, who is a professor of physical oceanography at Gothenburg University in Sweden, co-author of the research, commented on the findings, saying about 100 years ago, it retreated faster than it's currently retreating. You could say that that's good news because it's not so bad now compared to what it was in the past. And she added, but you can also say that it's bad news because it could happen again. Researchers are concerned that this glacier may soon melt over a ridge on the seabed and reach a big basin inland that's loaded with ice. Because of the increased amount of ice, the receding glacier would contribute more to the rise in sea levels if this occurs. Thwaites ticks several boxes of a glacier that might be experiencing a faster retreat in the future. It's retreating back into a deeper basin. It is in contact with warm ocean currents. It has a very large catchment area that stores large amounts of ice, Wallen said. And even though it's one of the biggest glaciers in Antarctica, the Thwaites Glacier, which is about the size of Florida, is only responsible for around 5% of Antarctica's overall contribution to the rise and fall of global sea levels. Wallen said exactly how big a threat there is is unfortunately still difficult to answer, but the fact that we finally have a data point that the models can tie back to is an important part of the puzzle. And this is on The Mind Unleashed by Katie Hutton. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.